Good evening and welcome to MTV's news update for today, August 12, 2022. I'm Ashley Scotland. First, our top headlines. President to meet with Kanji Creek farmers to discuss the development of hemp industry. Fisher Folk cash grant to be distributed after verification. Financial compensatory packages handed over to displaced linden squatters. And in sport, West Indies named squad for CG United ODI series. Now for the news in detail. President Irvin Ali on Thursday promised to hold a meeting with farmers of Barakara Kanji Creek East Burbese Region 6 to discuss the development of the hemp industry using their already existing knowledge. Lewin Williams reports. The government on Monday passed the historic industrial hemp bill in the National Assembly, paving the way for the cultivation and development of the new industry. President Irfan Ali drew in a visit to Barakara, Kanji Creek East, Burbies Region 6 on Thursday, told residents of the tremendous benefits the industry holds for the country. He said hemp is crucial to the pharmaceutical, construction and other sectors, which have greater returns than any other crop in that field. Hemp comes from the same family as cannabis but contains 0.3% or less of THC content while cannabis has more than 0.3% of THC. Cannabis with more than 0.3% of THC can make a person high while hemp cannot. President Ali said he would return to the community to have a talk with farmers who are involved in other fields of the same crop. So we're going to come back in this community and I want a closed door meeting. We will have all these people here. I want a closed meeting with all those persons who today are planting things that they have to uh, hide and do because it's against the law. The head of state assured that he is a president that is a realist and not a bluff. And these farmers must use their already existing knowledge to develop an industry that holds massive benefits for community development. So we have to have a closed door meeting in which we transform those you know, and I said, and I said this publicly too. You guys have shown that you have tremendous. Some of, some people show they have tremendous ability in getting high yield and high production. We just have to use that existing knowledge in an area that will be within the boundaries of the law and will give you the type of return that will help you to uplift your community and family. Luan Williams for MTV's news update. Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa said the distribution of the $150,000 cash grant for fisher folk cannot commence unless the list of fisher folk is verified across the country. Here again is Lewin Williams. The Ministry of Agriculture is currently conducting a verification process for the list of fisher folk who would have signed up for the government's $150,000 one-off cash grant. President Irfan Ali in May announced the one-off cash grant for fisher folk which is aimed at providing assistance and expanding the fishing industry, which is currently facing challenges. Agriculture Minister Zofikar Mustafa told MTV News Update on Friday that the distribution process would not commence unless that list is verified. Now I am saying that the names of the fisher folks are placed at different locations across the country mm. for verification. Mm. We are very careful in the verification process because we want we don't want uh, anyone who are who is not entitled to receive these um, grants mm -hmm. so we are looking to ensure that we do uh, the list is verified with the fisher folk and also residents within the community this minister mustafa said will make the process as transparent as possible and it will ensure that all fisher folk across the country benefit from this intervention. That will be out in the next two weeks, for the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can have a proper list. I don't want a list that you get problem with. So that's the process. So I'm hoping that by the end, by the next two weeks, we should have the list verified and sanitized. And then after that, we'll pay the grant. Fisher folk who would have registered for the grant are encouraged to check the list in the various communities to see if their names are listed. They can also contact the fisheries officers in the various regions if they have any questions or queries about the grant. Persons may also contact any of the officers to report persons listed who are not fisherfolk. 
Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Why you minding me business? I noticed you yesterday, you're there watching, 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 watching. Today you're there here again. Why you minding me business? I fed up your nosy self. Yeah, baby, I just love your windows. Why are you bad eyeing me window? Like your house single window? What kind of window really in your house? I got some old Louvers windows that I need to change. Louvers! <laughs> this day and age, people still got Louvers windows. Girl, let let you in for a secret, right? Beeson got a special deal right now. You go down there, you buy 10 window, you get a free bathroom window. Oh, for the love of God, try with them Louvers window and go down to Beeson and modernize. Beeson windows and doors, serving Guyana with the highest quality windows for your home, office, or commercial building. Rabies is a disease that is almost always fatal, but is 100% preventable. It is a disease that affects humans and all other warm-blooded animals. The GLDA wishes to stress that a rabies outbreak can result in the deaths of the animals, inclusive of horses, cattle, and small ruminants, leading to economic losses. Further, rabies is a zoonotic disease and can be transmitted to humans, resulting in fatalities. The GLDA is urging cattle farmers, especially those in regions 2, 3, 6, and 9, to vaccinate all their animals that are 3 months and older against rabies immediately and on a yearly basis. A message from the Guyana Livestock Development Authority, Ministry of Agriculture. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. The Central Housing and Planning Authority is kindly asking residents living in communities under the management of the department to desist from storing construction materials on roadways and road shoulders. Residents are also being asked not to block roadways or drains with construction materials. According to clauses 12 and 13 of the amended agreement of sale of restrictive covenants attached to titles issued from 2012, no storage of materials comprising earth, sand, stone, blocks, cements, timber and steel or mixing of concrete shall be permitted on the road or the road shoulders. Any materials on the road or the road shoulders must be cleared within 24 hours of being placed thereon. Residents are reminded that failure to adhere to clauses 12 and 13 will result in a penalty of $10,000 being charged per day of default. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. Fibertech materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. We have available various fiberglass mattings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information, call us at 2206907 or 2209192. This is MTV's News Update. Welcome back. The Private Sector Commission and Corsair Incorporated on Thursday signed a Memorandum of Understanding to equip Guyanese with the knowledge and skills needed for present and future job opportunities. Here is more. The Memorandum of Understanding was signed by the PSC Chairman Paul Chung and Coursera's Chat Pasha in the boardroom of the PSC. The type of programs being offered under this initiative will be decided on after a survey is conducted to identify the skill gaps in the job market. Chairwoman of the PSC Human Capital Subcommittee Luana Prasad recognized this agreement as a significant venture for Guyana and noted that it is critical to build the human capacity. Similar thoughts were shared by Chairman of the PSC, Paul Chung, who urged Guyanese to tap into this opportunity to prepare for the new Guyana. This brings an opportunity for everyone to upskill themselves, to develop themselves and, 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 and prepare themselves for the new Guyana. I said new Guyana because Guyana is changing rapidly. As if we, you know, we drive around, we, we see um, the massive work that's going on all around us. And we need to, as, as citizens of this country, put ourselves in a place to optimize 
whatever benefit we can get through um, the contribution we'll be making to our country's development. So, He believes that these programs have helped to promote local content since Guyana is relatively new to the oil and gas sector. Meanwhile, a senior advisor in government partnership Coursera, Chad Pasha, expressed joy over this partnership while assuring that Coursera will provide world-class education to all Guyanese. Going forward, the Private Sector Commission and Coursera will work together to understand the skills needs across private sector organizations and the skills gaps among the labor force. Cross-sector initiatives like this with the PSC, which connect job seekers, educators, and employers, are key to addressing the scale and fast-evolving nature of the job market, both within Guyana and globally. Apart from this partnership, Coursera has partnered with the government of Guyana to also provide education to Guyanese. These programs are free of cost and students are being taught at several internationally recognized universities. Looking to the future, both parties have expressed interest for future collaborations. Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony is urging the regional health officers in the 10 administrative regions to facilitate mobile vaccination teams to ensure vulnerable and immobile persons are vaccinated against COVID-19. The Ministry of Health continues to record positive COVID-19 cases from every region, with 14 patients currently hospitalized across the country. Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony is urging persons who have not yet been vaccinated to get inoculated with two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine, along with a booster shot. He said mobile vaccination teams are currently in Region 4 to ensure vulnerable and immobile persons get vaccinated. Minister Anthony is also urging regional health officers to do the same in the various regions. Well, we are encouraging the RHOs and the regions to employ a similar scheme because we recognize that when we, we, when we do this, uh, we are able to get to persons who are vulnerable. Most of the people who, are, who we have been going to their homes are really shut-ins. Dr. Anthony explained that persons who do not move around still can track COVID-19, which is why it is paramount for them to be vaccinated against a deadly disease. Um, in the regular scheme of things, it would be extremely difficult for them to come to one of the vaccination sites. So that's why we have a mobile team that is going out um, to, to the person's home. Over the last 24 hours, 48 new positive cases were recorded. There are currently 500 active cases throughout the country. Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. Still ahead, a financial compensatory package is handed over to displaced linden squatters. Stay with us. Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size, and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full-body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by 4.5 feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding. Our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. With our wall and ceiling gypsum system, it's light, durable and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut for that 31 years of Lens quality. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. The Central Housing and Planning Authority has employed the services of Rangers and we're kindly asking you, the members of the public, for your full cooperation as we seek to bring order and semblance to communities under our management. Our Rangers are responsible for the monitoring of schemes for contravention under the Tongue and Country Planning Act 
an agreement of sale issued to allottees responding appropriately to reports made by members of the public or allottees in schemes where there are illegal activities in contravention of the CHMPA's policies and Tongue and Country Planning Act to undertake investigations into report on the misuse of the roads, squatting, animal nuisance and dumping of garbage and derelict vehicles in schemes, issue notices for illegal construction and letters regarding penalties to be paid for the storage of materials on the roads within our schemes. Our rangers will be properly identifiable at all times as they have all been outfitted with the agency's badge. From time to time, they will be in your community. So in order for them to function effectively and better serve you, your cooperation is needed. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. The Gift Center, conveniently located at 46 Hatfield Street, opposite the White Castle Fish Shop, we are the best place to find quality products for yourself, your home, or a friend. Display your cherished memories in the perfect picture frame. Shop from a great selection of accessories for men, such as belts, wallets, and more. And for the women, find a great selection of handbags to suit your taste. Choose your signature scent or a timeless classic from our wide array of ladies and gents designer fragrances. We offer a range of innovative games that will guarantee you many hours of unspeakable fun. Enhance the decor of your home with beautiful lamps and unique wall art, just to name a few. The Gift Center, where quality is never compromised. Planning a cleanup? We can help. Sivan's waste management skip bins can be provided for home renovation projects, yard cleanups, or construction sites. It's simple. Step one, just pick up the phone and give us a call. Step two, we deliver the skip bin size of your choice. Step three, load the skip with all of your junk. And finally, step four, we take it all away. It's that simple. Bins are also available in various sizes, so there's no job that's too big or too small. Call Seabon's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. You're tuned to MTV's News Update. Attorney General Anil Nandalal said Opposition Leader Aubrey Norton's uneducated outburst is not doing his image, his constituents and his party any good. More in this report. Opposition Leader and Leader of the People's National Congress Reform, Aubrey Norton, has signaled his party's intention to block the 2025 general and regional elections unless the official list of electors has been cleansed. However, Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nandlal said Norton must understand that the country is governed by constitution and by laws. He made these remarks during his television program, Issues in the News, aired on Tuesday evening. Mr. Norton does not make sense when he makes these public pronouncements. And he does his image no good. He does his constituents no good. He does his party no good when he continues to make these vacuous, uneducated outbursts. President Irfan Ali had also stated that the list is not a problem. The Attorney General expressed similar sentiments and reminded that this was the same list the PPPC won the elections in 2011 and the APNU AFC in 2015. He described Norton's statement as creating unnecessary tension in the country, while noting that the law constitutes which list can be used during the general and regional elections. What constitutes a proper list is also a matter of law. And GCOM has the responsibility to ensure that such a list is ready when elections are due. We already have rulings from our court that guides us ruling, uh, a ruling from the court that guides us on in relation to the list. There is a clear pronouncement made by the Chief Justice that names cannot be removed from the list on the basis of residency. And regional elections. Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. 
Twenty families who were affected by a demolition exercise in Phase 4 Amelia's Ward Housing Scheme Linden Region 10 have received monetary compensatory packages. The affected families were invited to sign their agreements and uplift their checks during an exercise at Watuka House on Thursday. The checks were presented by Minister of Housing and Water, the Honorable Colin Kroll. In early May, the demolition exercise was conducted in Phase 4 Amelia's Ward, which has been earmarked for infrastructure development by the Ministry of Housing and Water. During the exercise, two habitable structures were demolished, while other structures, including fences and foundations, were also removed. The structures were on the path of an access road. To date, some of the affected persons have been offered house lots, while two have opted for housing units. We now take a look at Tips for Healthy Living with Norman Gobin, brought to you with the kind compliments of Davies Variety. Boss, I get this is the long milk pie. Ah, oh, boss! I confuse I say milk is the key to health and power. Boss, milk is milk, man. <laughs> Natura milk is the best milk on the market. Yeah, Natura, Natura. Natura? Natura, yeah. Bring the slim and healthy. Slim and healthy. And the full cream. Holy cream, holy cream. Natura milk powder is a better milk. What good for? Pineapples. Pineapple is a delicious fruit that can be enjoyed in many ways. Some people eat it just as is, some use it in salads, grill it, put it on pizza, and yes, pineapples do go on pizza. Get over it. It's generally accepted that pineapples are good for you. But exactly how good? And are there any risks of overeating? Stick around as we uncover pineapple's health benefits and possible health risks. But first, what are pineapples? The pineapple is believed to have originated in the Brazilian rainforests. Pineapples were harvested by the native tribes and spread throughout South and Central America. When Christopher Columbus landed in the New World in 1493, the Spaniards named the fruit piña due to its resemblance to a pine cone. Possible Health Benefits Pineapples are low in calories but boast an impressive nutrient profile. Just one cup, that is 165 grams of pineapple chunks, contain the following nutrients. Protein, carbs, fiber, vitamin C, manganese, vitamin B6, thiamine, folate, iron, and many others. Pineapples also contain disease-fighting antioxidants help in digestion, may reduce the risk of cancer, boosts immunity, and suppresses inflammation, and even eases symptoms of arthritis. Possible Health Risks Not many health risks are associated with pineapples, unless you have an allergy to them. Also, people with diabetes should be mindful of serving sizes to keep their blood sugar stable. Some people claim that eating a lot of unripe pineapples causes nausea and diarrhea. Again, this hasn't been studied, but it's always best to select ripe pineapple. The flesh should be a light to medium yellow. Other than that, you should be able to enjoy your pineapple for the most part. Guilt-free and yes, that includes on pizza. Boss, I get him this is the long milk pie. Ah, oh, boss! I confuse I say milk is the key to health and power. Boss, milk is milk, man. <laughs> Natura milk is the best milk on the market. Yeah, Natura, Natura. Natura? Natura, yeah. Bring the slim and healthy. Slim and healthy. And the full cream. Holy cream, holy cream. Natura milk powder is a better milk. The ISG and MTV's Sport Update comes up after the break. Stay tuned. 
are you building or renovating your home? Then come to Beeson for a wide range of aluminum and UPVC windows and doors. Get from single hung sash, on it, casement, sliding windows, plus sliding and swinging doors. All our products can be customized and fitted with insect screens and are seal tight to withstand harsh weather conditions. At Beeson, we also carry commercial, glass and French doors, showcases, aluminum louvers, curtain walls, aluminum rails, plus sliding and frameless shower doors. So look no further. Visit our showroom today at lot 1228 Eccles Industrial Site or call 622-4197 or 623-4197. Peace on windows and doors. Built with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. With the pride and joy that comes with being the owner of a small or medium business, comes the hustle and hectic days where there's so much to do and only one of you. We understand all those times you wished there were eight days in the week. All those days you wished you had four hands. That's why GTT Business Solutions has introduced Connects. We're talking internet speeds of up to 600 megabits per second with up to 6,000 minutes, including calls to USA and Canada. Helpful features like caller ID and call waiting, Get up to two landline numbers and the convenience of having it all on one bill. So breathe easy. Reliable and affordable help is here with GTT Connects. GTT, together we rise smarter. At Decor and Gift Gallery, we have comfortable and unique living room suites. Check out your bonded leather sofa or three-piece recliner set and much more. Or pick a lovely dining room set to match your home setting. Whatever is your style, we've got it. Shop your living room or dining room sets at Decor and Gift Gallery today. Hello, I'm, I'm Frank Diablo. I used to be a life insurance salesman many years ago. But time was flying so fast. Today, I'm in my own business for over 25 years. I love my business. I want to encourage any man, every man, all my workers are insured with GTM, um, their head care, and they have, oh, I had a fire recently, and they paid within, I would say, seven days. Same day they came, um, I think the German himself, I don't remember his name, he came and saw you, Frank, yes. No, Frank. As long as you ensure your premiums are up to date, we are stand by you. Insurance, you should have insurance. And I would think that GTM is old enough, strong enough, and they are exposed enough. GTM, sound, solid, and reliable. brand that's recognized worldwide, special wholesale prices starting at $3,400 for the emulsion and $3,800 for the oil, 4 gallons bucket for just $12,000. Also the royal paints were crafted for people with a budget, special introductory price on the semi-gloss top coat for just $1,500 per gallon and the roof and floor paint for just $5,500 for 1.5 gallons. Come and visit our showroom at Lot 140B Quamina Street or call telephone 622-0601 or 504-3908 for more information. Grab onto these special prices with 30 shades and more to choose from while stocks last. Let's paint Guyana, everybody. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. 
your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. In an attempt to enhance the sport of horse racing, Guyana is set to undergo changes which would include implementation of a regulatory framework. Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport Charles Ramson Jr. made this revelation during the launch of the Guyana Cup at the Pegasus Hotel. Uh, we have started to engage with stakeholders in the move towards uh, the modernization of the sport. Um, that is something very important, as Naz said something very important to uh, regulate the sector and that's not something for anybody to be worried about. I can guarantee you, I can give you the assurance that's not anything for anyone to be worried about. What that will do is will take us into the modern world in relation to uh, horse racing. Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport, Charles Robinson Jr. In 2014, the Ghana Horse Racing Authority had created draft legislation for the sport. However, to date, no momentum to implement change in the sport has gone beyond at that point. Ramson reaffirmed his ministry's commitment to ensure that all stakeholders be involved in the development of the sport. When we, we are going to make these changes, we're not going to be making these changes in isolation. We're also intending to make the investment necessary that will help us in moving towards the modernization of uh, the sport. We have started those consultation engagements to introduce uh, the legislation for uh, horse racing. Um, like I said, it's not going to be anything that you need to be concerned about, but we're going to have it as part of an, in, an entire um, stakeholder engagement so everybody will be able to share their views so that we can have the best possible regulated industry. The minister also acknowledged the economic impact the sport has through sport tourism, noting that the absence of legislation restricts the development of the sector, making it important to take the necessary steps to transform the sport. Absence of legislation, it also prescribes or um, restricts how far you will be able to go uh, in developing the sector. You know that. I've discovered that over the last few months, and that's why it's very important for us to take those steps moving forward. So it's some discussions that I've had with the president on moving this forward. Um, so on the, in relation to our engagement, you should expect to hear from us um, as how we're going to be able to move the uh, transformation of horse racing forward. Meanwhile, this Sunday at the Rising Sun Turf Club, some of the region's top race horses are set to take to the track for the 14th edition of the Ghana Cup. Cash prices will be up for grabs in the 8th race event, with the feature race seeing the winner walking away with $8 million. The Cricket West Indies Senior Men's Selection Panel on Thursday announced the squad for the CG United One International Series against New Zealand. All three matches will be day and night matches played on the floodlights at Kensington Oval in Barbados on August 17, 19 and 21. The three matches are West Indies' last remaining three fixtures in the ICC ODI Super League as West Indies aim to automatically qualify for the 2023 ICC World Cup in India. West Indies will be seeking to win the CG United ODI Series to secure one of the automatic qualification places reserved for the top seven teams in the ODI Super League table, excluding hosts India. CWI's selection panel named one newcomer to the squad off spinner Kevin Sinclair. He made his international debut in T20, in T20 International Cricket last year against Sri Lanka and has so far played 60 T20 internationals. Left arm spinner Gukadesh Moti has been named in the 14 member squad and will have to undergo a, fa a fitness assessment on the finger injury sustained against India in the CG United ODI series in, in, in Trinidad last month. All rounder Roston Chase is unavailable for selection due to injury, while fellow all-rounder Fabian Allen is also unavailable for personal reasons. The Guyana Football Federation, with the support of the Government of Guyana, has established an academy training center in Region 7 to train upcoming footballers. This is the Guyana Football Federation's 10th center for its National Youth Football Development Program. 
During a recent visit to Apple Max Rooney, GFF President Wayne Ford said the Federation is focused on having a more diverse pool of coaches as a means of for the developing the sport. And over the next couple of months and years, we will be training male and female coaches so that they can deliver the highest quality of coaching education. And that way, we will all be proud of the representation of our brothers and sisters from the hinterland communities. The ATC Network, launched in 2017, seeks to provide boys and girls with eight specific structured football training from certified coaches employed by the GFF Technical Department. The pioneering system has raised standards across the game nationwide and created a prolific talent pathway for Guyana's national youth and senior teams. In partnership with the government of Ghana and other stakeholders, the GFF intends to roll out the ATC program across the entire hinterland regions in the coming years. Ford added that the new centre in Region 7 would play an instrumental role in the GFF's aim to ensure that no stone is left unturned when it comes to the identification and development of our nation's footballers. The new academy will generally operate out of Cameron and Waramadong villages because most of the school-aged children in the area attend Desri Fox Secondary School in Waramadong. The secondary component of the ATC will be mobile within the upper Mazaruni communities. But that brings us to the end of Sport Update, which is brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG. More after the break. Over the years, ISG has been providing all sectors across Guyana with quality products and outstanding customer service. Proud distributor of NP and Ultra lubricants, engineered for tropical conditions. International trucks and parts, leading the change. SEM Machinery. A Caterpillar brand, SKF bearings and mounted products, Napa batteries, Tide power generators, discover the greatest source of power, industrial supply of Guyana Inc., the best opportunity to make the right choice. And that brings down the curtain on tonight's newscast, but before we go, here is a reminder of our top stories. President to meet with Kanji Creek farmers to discuss the development of hemp industry. Fisher folk cash grant to be distributed after verification. Financial compensatory packages handed over to displaced linden squatters. And in sport, West Indies name squad for the CG United won the international series. Category broadcast tomorrow takes hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. You can also check out our website at mtvgy.com for these and other stories. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Ashley Scotland saying stay safe and goodbye for now.